So the Sony ZV-1 is an amazing camera and there are two features on here that by default are turned off that would help you make sure that this is the best camera that you can use for YouTube 4K recording and not have to worry about it shutting off with you. So stay tuned. How's it going everyone? My name is Shea Wei and welcome to Shea Wei Tech where I cover lots of stuff in the tech industry. Today in specific though, I'm going to be talking about the Sony ZV-1 and two features that you can use to get the most out of it. This camera is awesome, but it leaves a lot to desire directly out of the box. And I'm not sure why the features I'm about to show you are not on by default. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first feature that I wanna talk about is the extended recording time option. So technically this has the ability to do unlimited recording based off of the temperature. But by default, if we were to leave this on, in my personal experiences, I made a video that was roughly like this, just sitting here talking. And after about five minutes of talking, the camera shut off with me because it got too hot while recording in 4K. So I knew there was something up with that. I did a little bit of research and I found out that Sony actually has something built into the Sony ZV-1 along with some other cameras called the auto power off temperature. This feature basically protects the camera from overheating and ruining your video. What it does is when the camera hits a specific temperature, it actually will stop the video recording and power off. This can be a very big pain, especially in my instance where I was recording. I did like a 15 minute spiel. It cut off in the first five minutes and I didn't realize it. And I had to go back through and re-record all of that. So whenever you enable the power to be set on high though, this actually extends the amount of time that you can record. We can kind of estimate how long that you can record without this shutting down. And so let's say the ambient temperature is around 104 degrees, which is pretty high that would be shooting in the sun and the camera just going full blast you would get roughly 20 minutes of recording time with this set on high now let's say it is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and you are in your home and this is maintaining that you're gonna get roughly 30 minutes of recording time personally I got around 35 minutes on one cut before it finally decided it was going to cut off which was amazing 35 minutes straight of recording in 4k I'll take it that is that is an awesome feature especially for a point and shoot that's this small and gives such a good image this camera is the bomb for having that. The ability to do this though is limited also by the battery life. The battery life for video recording is roughly around 45 minutes. And to be honest with you, that's not very long and that's like best case scenario. So, you know, if you've turned your camera on and off a few times, you've messed with, with some settings, you're gonna have a lot less than 45 minutes battery life. And if you have a third party battery, like I tend to buy a lot of the times, those get closer to around 30 minutes of battery life too. So. We had to come up with some other solution and Sony knows this and they actually built something into the camera that allows you to use a USB power bank or a computer to power your Sony ZV-1. So why is this awesome? Basically, this battery is 1,250 milliamp hours. This is 10,000. So I essentially have eight Sony ZV-1 batteries built into this. I can plug this in and run this as my battery. Of course, this isn't a good option if you are using the Sony ZV-1 for vlogging, but to be honest with you, I don't think anyone's vlogging and making 45 minute cuts or even 20 minute cuts straight uh, in one go. So uh, I would say that this this use case is specifically for people that are using the Sony ZV-1 as like a main talking head camera or something like that for YouTube. So how do we enable both of these features? We talked about the auto temperature and we talked about the USB recording. Well, first I'm gonna show you how to enable the temperature. So what we first wanna do is go to the menu and then hit setup. Under setup, we wanna to go to the auto power off temperature and set the desired setting. In this case, we want it set to high. When it's set to high, we have the ability to shoot for extended periods of time. Keep in mind whenever it is set to high that the camera can get hot and can cause burns to your hands. Even Sony says this, so keep that in mind. You probably wanna have this mounted to a tripod if you're uh, continuously recording for a long period of time. So the other feature we're talking about Let's say we want to have USB power supply, which 
if you think about it, using a USB power supply is actually going to keep the battery from this getting warm, which in turn lets this record longer because the temperature is lower. So how do we enable that though? Kind of the same format, it's under the settings. We wanna to go to the menu, setup, and then go to USB power supply and select the desired setting. When the power is on, anytime a micro USB cable is plugged into the camera and into a computer, or in this case, a power bank, it actually uses that power bank to power the camera. If it is off, it's actually just using it to charge the battery of the camera or using it as a way of transferring data. So that's something to think about. Some things to know, operations available while supplying power via USB. You can shoot images, you can play back images, you can use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections, but you cannot charge the battery pack and turning on the camera without the battery pack inserted is also unavailable. So you still have to have this battery inside of the camera while using the USB power bank. So guys, these are two features that I've used to get the most out of my Sony ZV-1. I think that this helps enable the best potential possible for using this as a main YouTube camera, as well as a live streaming camera uh, for Twitch or whatever you want to use it for. So I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, if you would please hit the like button and actually gets this video pushed out to other people that may find this helpful or interesting. And if of course, if you like this type of content, I'm doing this like twice, even sometimes three to four times a week, depending on, you know, what's in the news or, you know, what comes to my mind that I want to cover. So that being said, I'd love to have you part of the community if you'd like to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for hanging around and watching the video as always. With all that being said, guys, my name is Shayway and thanks for watching Shayway Tech.